have to do some scolding. They're all behaving like a bunch of bitches right now. Yang gang. Uh, some people are freaking out. Frogs are freaking out. They gotta realize that at this point it's just a meme. I get, I get where you're coming from. Look at the dude's platform and he's fucking gonna take away your guns. He's gonna raise the age of holding, of holding a, holding a firearm to 21. All those 16 year olds out there hunting with their dads, I guess they're shit out of luck, huh? But let's not, I don't want you to get into the intricacies yet. Like I said, right now is a meme. Forget about any policy that he has. And focus on what he's saying about automation and universal basic income. I don't like the universal basic income. I think it's a bad, I think it's a terrible idea. But, ultimately, if you look deeper into this, he, he's, he's offering something for the common man. He's tapping into what Trump had brought to the surface, is that why does government only have to work for the complete fucking dregs of society? Why do we completely neglect people that are so-called privileged? And this begins to fight against that narrative. Yang is the only one in the entire Democrat field that is appearing to be genuinely concerned about the well-being of people. Whereas, if you get any other... Do you think Kamala Harris gives a shit about anything but black people? Do you think Joe Biden gives a shit about anything but enriching himself? Or, you know, any of these people? They're all just disgusting people. That's why they're Democrats. Andrew Yang is merely using this as a vessel. Now, sure, he he's probably believes in a lot of this lefty shit that uh, we don't believe in because we do have... We do actually have values, unlike Republicans. Who claim they have values, but they'll throw them away at, a, at an instant. If somebody like Donald Trump gets... If they don't get their way, they'll completely shit-can their values. Their values only arise when it's time to chastise white people virtue signal. So the point is to move the general discussion, not to elect a Chinaman. He's not going to win, guys. Just fucking calm down. Do you think the Democratic Party is going to elect Andrew Yang? Somebody who just showed up. No. They're not as stupid as the Republicans are. Republicans think voting is uh, you know, something that actually means something. You know? uh, this is our greatest right a citizen to get out there and pull that lever for some fucking loser. No. The Democrats have ceased believing in this. That's why you see 104% turnout in African American districts in Philadelphia. That's why you have millions of illegal immigrants and they, they throw a fit every time you ask somebody to have something as simplistic as voter ID. Oh, this is... Then they whine about disenfranchising and racism. All the usual bugaboo. The reason they do that is because they know that voting is a fucking scam. It's a sham. Voting is fucking dumb. This is how we elect people? By having these fucking schlubs who don't bother to fucking read the paper or pay attention to anything? Who have never bothered to fucking pay attention to anything? They just do what they're told? Fucking cheap. It's stupid. So the Democrats don't allow this to matter. To matter. That's why they have their super delegates that kick Bernie out. So they just kicked Bernie out two years ago. And he, if he didn't outright beat Hillary, uh, it was pretty questionable. Bernie sits there and cries as he gets his ass handed. He gets raped in front of fucking millions of people on live TV. They're not going to fucking let Yang win, dude. They're not letting Yang win. So just fucking set that aside. And, you know, if you don't want to fucking support the UBI, you think it's a dumb idea, then fine. Again, it's not about the, the actual policy. It's about moving the discussion where we want to move it. It's not a fucking Chinese spy operation. There, there's not... If that would be the case, Yang would have to win. And there's no fucking way that Yang is winning. There's some people who are going to believe that they can beam this into reality, and I'm fine. What harm is done? You think, oh, they're taking...
taking away from Republicans. Well, not really. They're, you're probably putting more pressure on Republicans, if anything. And Republicans don't give a fuck about you. You're putting pressure on Trump, is what you do. Trump needs to correct course really fast. I still think he'll probably win. No, I'm pretty damn sure he's going to win. Uh, this is a pretty big blow, though meeting with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce saying we need more legal immigration. It's got to be legal. No. We have 350 million people in the country. We don't need any more immigration of any sort. You dumbasses also believe in this stupid egalitarian shit. So then why the fuck can't you train the 13 to 15 million people who are out of a job? You fucking deal with this these these fucking people oh you can everybody's equal yeah yeah, then you fucking hire yeah like you're gonna bring somebody in from Bangladesh and they're just gonna be just as qualified as a guy with a degree from American University okay who's fooling who here so don't fucking worry about Yang he's not gonna win the bigger deal is you're moving the discussion where we want to and that is government needs to do something for everybody. Government can't just be for the poor minorities and the single women. And look what we've done for black unemployment. Come on. There's disaffected white people out there as well. And the economy you're bragging about is fucking questionable. Working fucking retail jobs for a career is not a fucking career. It's not. It's fucking gay. So, the frogs just calm down. We're trying to move the overall discussion towards somewhere where the, you know, it, it's, who knows if it's going to work. It doesn't fucking hurt anybody, okay? And if you're thinking you're going to harm Trump, you're not. Any pressure that he feels. And, and now let's move to the other side. The, the Yang people who said, that's it, I've had it with Trump. It's been two years. You sound like a fucking weak net. So knock that off too. Trump hasn't done anything for us. Okay. You sound like a bitch. Okay. You sound like a bitch. I need Daddy Trump to do uh, this and that for me. Specifically. Does he have to go to your house? Does he have to wipe your fucking ass? Baby. These are the people that are saying, Oh, he's not done anything on internet censorship. Well, why should he? What loyalty have these cocksuckers given him? The weak nets. People are fucking crazy. If he goes out in support of them, he'll just get more shit. So why would he? Stop behaving like fucking animals. How's that? Then maybe you'd get somebody on your side to help you do something. Instead of just crying. Oh, I'm a poor baby. My internet censorship. I can't say the N-word all day long and the K-word all day long. They took away my right. They took away my payment processor. You're the one who did this, you dumb shit. Is it right? No, of course it ain't right. But come on. Don't expect the President of the United States to go worrying about internet censorship. He's got bigger fish to fry. Like he's fighting a two-year investigation where well, they've probably got his fucking Don Jr.'s balls in the vice. They've probably got pictures of him they're sending to him here. Here's your family that we got in the vice. Opening an investigation on Russia hacking. Russia hacking of the election. They've literally just made some shit up out of thin air and they're making a two year investigation out of it. And he's got to deal with that shit. You've got people within his own party, even after he was a, even after he won the fucking election, that are still, nope, not supporting him, nope. And you have David fucking Frum and his ilk. Tweeting 24 hours a day, every fucking 10 minutes, seven days a week. Ah, Trump is Trump. They're not gonna get him. They're gonna get Trump. Trump is alien. Fucking smarmy little cocksucker. Who needs fucking enemies when this is a the neocons? That you have the neocons for you. And now that not that Trump has even been anything but a friend to Israel. The only thing that he's not done is continue this ridiculous wars, which I'm sure pisses plenty of them off. He's got a conservative Supreme Supreme Court justice, or at least we think, because we never know what these guys. He wants to end both of these conflicts. 
And don't compare that to Venezuela because Venezuela is at least in our own hemisphere. It's like, you know, if you can, if you can take a missile, if a missile can take off from Venezuela and land on Miami Beach, you know, it is in our interests there, okay? It's not like it's halfway across the world and fighting for another country. There is something to that. So yeah, so the Yang, Yang gang complaining that Trump has done nothing for us. Therefore, I'm abandoning him. How do you think that looks when the next nationalist candidate wants to come? Well, the, well, the, the GOP will completely ignore all nationalist candidates from now on, and so will Democrats. So then you're just, that's the quickest way to get to, you're never getting anything again. You completely abandon the one guy that's showed a propensity towards caring about the actual people, and not just the donors, and the people that are giving him the Sheldon Adelsons of the world. You want to go back to that? Then start bitching about it. Because that's what will happen. If you remove any support now, that's what will happen. And I'm very glad that he called out Ann Coulter, because Ann Coulter fucking sucks. If you're worshipping Ann Coulter, then fucking reevaluate your life. An old 60-year-old uh, cat lady, screeching cat lady with no children. Fuck this woman. Who cares? Listen to Pat Buchanan, all right? Not as fucking dramatic. Why do you get any built piles of wall built today? Next update tomorrow. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. Shut up. So, yeah, stop fr- flipping out because... Stop freaking out because Trump didn't do everything he wanted in two years. It took the leftists 40 years to get where we are now. Every, every Racism is the worst crime in America. Do you think you're going to reverse that in two years? Think, for fuck's sake, think. We don't have the luxury to be fucking leftists and women. We can just use our emotions and get people, you know, get people on our side that way. You can't do it. You're going to lose. So you have to fucking think. You have to look deeper into these things. So don't fucking freak out if people are, if people are supporting gang and they want to push things in that direction. It's fine. Now if Trump comes back and he says, you know what, fuck, uh, fuck it, I screwed up. Now he won't, he'll never say that, but if he back and says, well, we're putting this executive order out, we're ending birthright citizenship, we want our court case against the state of emergency for the wall, we're doing infrastructure spending, real infrastructure spending, not Obama's bullshit where it's all for women, social programs. We're doing it. If he gets his shit straight, then fine, then you're back. And if you still want to whine about fucking gang, you still want to follow that fucking dead trail, go ahead. Don't sit here and whine, oh, Trump didn't do anything, didn't do anything for me. Shut the fuck up. You gotta govern from a position of strength, for fuck's sake. Do you think it'll be easier to get things done with Trump in office for another four years or with Joe Biden in office? Don't be a wig gnat. Don't think like a wig gnat. You have to be some contrarian faggot. Because Trump didn't do it all. He didn't change anything in, in two years. Because every politician gets what he wants when he, when he campaigns on, right? And obviously, you fucking faggots have never paid any attention to politics. What politicians run on and what they actually get accomplished are always two significantly different things. I can't remember the last time somebody said... Well, we're running on this, and that's for sure what's going to happen. Usually you get these fringe candidates, they have some goofy idea, like a flat tax. They run, and then they get fucking beat. They get trumps in the primaries, and they go write a book. Then they go on Fox News or whatever. This is probably, Yang is probably the leftist equivalent to that. He's He's already written a book, he's just running for president, probably to get more support for that, but if he gets on the debate stage and he has to shut these people up, and why don't you care about, you know, everybody rather than your pet minority projects, that will be a very good thing, and it, ironically, it has to be a gang, it has to be a Chinese uh, guy who does it, that's pretty funny, because the Democrat Party has to, they're going to get in office again, it's only a matter of time, and Trump is 
two years or more than likely six years away. He's out too. So then what happens? You're just going to give up on the... I know the Wignat talk. Mark is stupid. It's a waste of time. Then you're a fucking retard. You're a complete fucking retard if that's what you think. You're just dumb. And you should shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That sort of is Paul Kersey. Look, it was a waste of time because he fucking talked shit to Ann Coulter of all people. Fucking loser. I don't think they even believe what they're talking about. They're so fucking dramatic and woman-like. Oh! You know, they, they, they fucking... I got a case of the vapors. I'm gonna go to the other room. Oh! Fucking babies. Just women. Oh, I'm gonna give up now. You strike from a position of strength. You don't attack from the fucking website. You got the president of the United States on your side. And if he strays off, then you gotta fucking correct his ass. Don't say you're quitting like a fucking girl. I mean, obviously none of these fucking weight nats ever played sports before. Because they just, I mean, the first sign of adversity, they just fold like a cheap tent. They're such fucking babies. So don't be like weight nats, Yang. Yang gang, do not be like the Wignats. The frogs and the Yang gang should not be fighting at this point. It's not fruitful to talk about, oh yeah, but Yang believes in this. Well, of course he does. He's a one issue guy. Don't worry about the other dumb shit. He's not gonna win, he's gotta push this one issue. And if you negate him, then that, that issue will never get to the fold. The one issue that we wanted to talk about will never happen. Even if you don't like UBI, you do think that's a stupid idea. The fact that they're, they would look towards, they would look to do something to benefit everybody rather than their pet minority groups is the, is the goal here. So that's why you don't want to counter signal. Gate word. So, keep this in mind. Play the long game. Position of strength. We must govern from a position of strength. Attack both the fucking sides. Attack the Democrats and the Republicans. Fuck them both. Let them do, let them do what we want.